It's the internet, you're busy, let's do this. Jeff Grubb with GamesBeat.com. This time we are looking at the Discord store and its library. These are new features that, the, that this uh, service just added. Uh, you can see up here on the top left that these buttons have expanded to include library and store. And we're going to start with store real quick just so we can kind of get a quick idea of, of what the big new addition here is. And of course it is the option to buy games. So... Discord uh, announced this feature, I think, uh, last month. They tested it out in Canada, and now they are rolling it out worldwide today. And the thing about the store is it's going to be curated by Discord. It is going to have a number of, of, just of, of games that they are going to pick and put on here, and they're going to just sell them. And they're going to be games you can find everywhere else. And then Discord is also going to work with developers to create a first on Discord program where the first 90 days of certain games, uh, they will appear on Discord only, and then they'll go to other stores after that. So clearly this is like their big monetization method here. Um, and it, it's, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's probably what you expect. Uh, it's got, there's quite a few games. There's more games than I was expecting, honestly. Um, but you like here we can click view all games um and there's quite a bit here i think um it, it's curated so it's not it's nothing like steam of course and a lot of these games uh, are familiar they have familiar names um stuff you probably played or wanted to get um but it's uh yeah like i said it's what you would expect dead cells is 25 dollars here if you hover over it you'll get a, a few more you'll get more information like for example how many of your friends are playing it or or own it uh, but you also get the metacritic score um and then it has like it has these weird check marks which i think might be filled in by the community has doors that can't be opened question mark like not all of them have that stuff um like these don't have these these other ones don't say that but i think um maybe end of the breach might no there was another one i can't remember which one it is hollow knight some enemies will bug you. Like, I don't know who put that there. I wonder if that is from Discord themselves. Um, but then if you, like, if you click through, you can see more of that information up close. You could see Discord staff pick, like, see what they wrote about it right here. Um, likely you, what the developer wrote about the game right here. And then... Uh, you know, get the pertinent information about what it'll, like, you know, minimum system requirements, things like that, as well as feature support over here. And, you know, it's a store, you know. It, you just click the buy button, go on and buy it. Um, but that's, you know, that's the store. There is then Nitro, which is Discord's game subscription service. You can get to that by clicking right here, Nitro Games. Um if you subscribe for ten dollars a month, you'll get all like the nitro features, which was like animated icons, and you could like use your emotes from one server on another server. But now you will also get an instant library of games, and this works um, pretty similar similarly. Excuse me, similarly to uh, PlayStation Now or Xbox Live games with gold. Um, Except for it's much larger and it seems like it's going to be more persistent and the games are going to, uh, um, you know, you still I think you still lose access to them if you stop subscribing, um, but there will just be more in that in that instant library at a time. Um, let's see here. I think uh, view all games like all Nitro games. So now we can see here's every Nitro game right here. And again, more than I was expecting. So if you subscribe, you get every single one of these games, and you could just install them and start playing them as much as you want. Um, I think there's some useful features here where if you already have a game in your library, you can just click this, hide games in library, and now you can just add the rest. You just go through and click them. The problem is, is that, um, or one problem that I've noticed, is there's no, like, just check mark, like right here where I can, like, say, add to my library, boom, 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 and just move from one game to the next. You have to actually click through on Dandara, Click Add to Library, and then I'm not going to install it right now, so I click over here, but now it's in my library, and we're good to go. Um, but, yeah, I, it, it works. So then uh, let's take a look at Library then. So this is a pretty interesting thing as well. So all the games I've added from Nitro are right here, and I can install them whenever I want. But that's not the only thing that uh, this library system does. It is also capable of checking your system for other games uh, from other services, 
and enabling you to like create a single library hub to launch all those games um, from right here. Uh, overlay off. Um, when, so I wonder if I can just click on that and turn it on. Whatever. Um, but yeah, so like it, th these are all the games I have installed just on this computer already. Um, most of them are from Steam, but let's see, there's a... Uh, yeah, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, that's installed from Uplay. And some of these are on my C drive, but most of them are not on my C drive. So it's fine. It's like it's searching the entire computer and it's putting them in this library. And it did it instantly, so it's like it just knows. It like it checks for games really fast. Um and I, I like this. Um I I'll like it more once I have like like I've been testing computers and I've been testing a lot of uh, PC hardware recently, so I don't have all my games on one system ready to go like normal. Once I have that and like I have most of my games that I'm normally playing installed, this library will be very useful to me, I think. Especially because like uh I use this activity hub to check what people are playing. Like this is still gonna be the first place I check when I come on Discord. I'm gonna boot up Discord, have some time to play some games, I'm gonna click on activity and see what other people are playing. And uh yeah, a few people are playing PUBG and you know, StarCraft two and let's see, Ring of Elysium or something, World of Warcraft, Spin Tires, Blood Runner. That's no one playing that because only I play that apparently. Um, <coughs> but I'm gonna come. I'll come to activity. And I'll see what people are playing. And if people are playing, let's say a bunch of people are playing a game that is in Nitro, I can see them. I can see them playing it right here. I can click through, and you know, and hit play. If I if I don't have it, it should just take me to the store instead. And I can purchase it there. And just start going. Or if it's in Nitro, I just click through to the Nitro, add the game to my library, download it, and get going. And it all just works. So, yeah. Um, that's the Discord store and the library system. And I'm very much into it. I like this idea a lot. I'm glad Discord is doing this. It's um, It creates competition, and I think it might... You know, it's, it's not going to be... Um, another Steam because Steam is doing something very specific where they're just they want every developer to have a chance. Discord is definitely going to take a more curated approach. We'll see how that works. Um, see if that lasts. They might open it up to more people in the future to the point where they are another Steam. But for now, it's um, a very different experience. And I think it's just if they can get you to buy a couple games a year through them, I think they'll be pretty happy. Um, and then if you start building up this library and feeling good about having your library all in Discord, maybe you'll buy more games in the future, and as time goes on, it'll become your number one store for games. Um, and we'll see. We'll see how that works out. But I think it's a possibility, and that is interesting to me. So yeah, that is, that's that. That's the Discord store. The game's found. What have I done? Did I type something weird? Yeah, okay. Uh, Jeff Grobe, GamesBeat.com. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.